So I just want to start off by saying that my energy is probably going to be intense. Um, I just posted this up on Instagram, but wanted to put it on YouTube to just, you know, so people can be aware and actually feel the energy of this message. So I felt called to pull a card from the Spirits of the North Divination deck all day today, and I've recently got that chance. So this was the same message that I channeled while doing that flip it through, you know, for the deck. So I just want to dive really deep into it. So we need to realize that we do not have to dedicate our lives to solely one thing, especially if it's to make someone else's dream come true. For centuries, our ancestors were not able to go pursue their dream, and that's regardless of color. There are a lot of people all over the world who have been stuck in generational cursive of not being able to go after their dreams because their parents didn't, and their parents didn't, and so on. We live in a society that shames people for following their fire that resides within. So wealth and happiness can only stay concentrated for just a few, but that is no more. For anyone that sees this post or hears this message, go after the dream you have been thinking of, but thinking you can't do it or you won't succeed. Just do it. Your ancestors stand with you and support your dream. You have to realize that your inner power is greater than the box society tries to shove us in. I'm not saying that you have to make a huge plunge and quit your job and start anew. Well, if you can feel called to, maybe you do. But realize you can start small. Every child has to take their first steps to trust their legs. Take your first steps to trust your bloodline, to trust that they will support and uplift your dream, your passion, your fire. You will be rewarded and blessed beyond what you could ever imagine if you would just have faith. We place so much faith in society that things will work out if we work ourselves ragged, but we must place faith in ourselves and the ones that came before us and continues to watch over us and the God who gives us blessings every single day when we wake up. Realize that we are the seeds that they planted in this earth and they wish to see us flourish. So what are you waiting for? Isn't it time for you to be in bloom? Isn't it time to make them proud? Seriously, what are you waiting for? Go.